Alrighty guys, so this possibly could be a little bit of a long video. If anyone will ever watch it, I don't know, but we'll find out. Um, this is going to be the video on the tractor because the, well, the tractor's been home and I've had time now. It's slightly windy out. It's not cold, but it could be a little bit warmer, I think. But if the wind would freak off, it wouldn't be so damn bad then. But um, So you're going to have to excuse the wind noise if there is any because I can't help it. Can't help but that Mother Nature decided to be kind of a bitch. On a, on a, I mean, there's not a cloud in freaking sight, and it's still got to be windy out. So, but we'll try to do what we can here for a video for you guys. I was going to do something kind of cool, but I don't really feel like doing all that fucking editing right now. So, <clears throat> I guess I just have to take it as it is and uh, deal with it. But uh, I've been waiting for that uh, repair shop to uh, send me out a bill. I finally got that today, but I wasn't going to call them because I'm done calling them. They could have called me, but instead of calling me, they decided to send out a out a bill, which is you know too, that's good too. But they tacked on another. Uh, Sixty dollars to the frickin' bill when he said that, that it would be no more than twenty one hundred. Twenty one hundred for all the shit that I wanted done. So, but you know whatever. So apparently they tacked on another sixty bucks to the bill. Well, I don't have it, so they're gonna have to just take what I can give them, and then the rest will just have to be on payday. Then they're just gonna have to put up with it. If they don't like it, well then they can do what they got to do, but I got a lawyer too, so, you know, nothing I can do about it. I'm not a, just because I bought a tractor doesn't mean I got tons of money still floating around, you know, that's where most of my money went to, was this tractor, you know, and then gas to go down there, plus food, you know, and then the drive back, and then for them to have to haul the tractor here, you know, it costed money, so, <clears throat> But what are you going to do, right? So, there's... Yeah, I had money left over for the loader, but most of that went into the tire. And I figured, well, shit, I'm not going to have money for the loader. So, I might as well have some other things done to it. And then whatever money that was left over, I just spent it on other shit. I bought that PS4 and whatever. I probably didn't have to, but you know what? It's been on my list to get done, and... Oh, and I bought the CB for the house, too, and I bought all that crap. And bought some clothes that were needed, because my clothes are getting wore out. Need some new shit, so. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so there's, there just wasn't going to be, there wasn't going to be any money left over, no matter how you looked at it. Um, you know, you just can't help it. You got shit to buy, and you got things to do, you got to do it, you know. So. So, yeah, um. A lot of you guys were guessing. One guy was thinking, you guys already seen what the make was, so you guys kind of already knew that. But um, a lot, some of you, one of you guys was thinking a 1086. One guy was, he was still thinking of a 986. Which, well, if it was a 986, I think it'd be a little bit faster than this. But there was one guy that had guessed two models. Uh, of course, the kids are going to come out and play at the school now, which is going to be fantastic. Um, one guy was thinking a 1486, and one guy was thinking a 1586, well, he was close. He wasn't close, close, but it was close enough, so. But, uh, I can already tell you now, this tractor's gonna need, this tractor's gonna need some more work than, well, there's nothing super majorly wrong with it, it's just, it's some minor detailing that needs to be done to it. Um, which I can get them on Steiner, and I'm sure you can go through Case IH as well, but they're expensive on Case IH. I think if you just went to Steiner or something, you could probably find them on eBay as well. But they're gonna they're gonna over, they're gonna overcharge you, I think, for what it's kind of worth. So, 
And I also have to find a, uh, let's say I gotta find a top link because they didn't give me one. So I gotta find, from what my friend thinks, it's probably most likely a category three. So I need, I need a cat three top link. So I think I can go to a tractor supply and they'd probably have them. Um, and then it, it possibly may get a new grill later on. The grill on this is still original, but it's, it's broken. So I was thinking either getting another plastic one, like because you on Steiner they have two of them. You can get either another plastic one like this, or you can get a chrome steel one, which a chrome steel one would look kind of nice. But even though the tractor's not shiny, if it was more of a show tractor, it'd probably be worth maybe putting a chrome some bitch on there, so I don't really plan on getting a chrome pipe for it, exhaust pipe. I mean, you know, I would like one, but I like what's on there now. It'll do for now, you know, so but, uh <clears throat> yeah, so I don't know who the hell that is, but that's interesting. So, yeah, um Maybe I'll wait until later. I think I'm going to wait a little while yet before I show, actually show you guys. It'll be on this video, but I'm going to... Right now, the kids are running back and forth at their, at their school, and they're going to wonder why I'm holding a camera. So, I should have figured they'd be out playing, but it's only just those two, and they don't really stay out that long. So, it's 12.30 now, so they might stay out for a little bit yet, but... Not sure how this camera will do in the freaking cold. It's not really that cold out, but... Kind of a piece of shit anyway. It doesn't really last anymore. I think the battery's getting kind of weak in it, but but yeah. And then the tractor's going to need uh, it's going to need it's going to need some parts. That's for sure. Um, it's going to need a new uh, it's going to need a new antenna. It's missing half of the antenna. It still seems to pick up some stations, but I think it kind of needs a proper looking antenna. You know, it needs to look good. So. What are you gonna do? It just needs a lot of, uh, you know, small bits and pieces of stuff to make it look, to make it look decent, not just a pile of piss, you know, for the amount of, amount of hours that it has on it. But I think the uh, last owners didn't really take super good care of it. I mean, they probably kept it maintained enough so where it wouldn't grenade itself. But I think it needs a lot more than that. And, uh... <clears throat> my friend, the younger guy, he said he was going to put my tractor on the chisel plow this last Monday, and he never showed up, so... Um... It rained last night a little bit, so the ground's wet. And then after that, they're talking more rain and possibly a snowstorm but they keep changing that too they changed it to where it wasn't supposed to even hit our area it was supposed to go more south so but from what my phone says that it says that we're still in for the direct hit of the snowstorm so um i was trying to put it off as long as i could before putting that jelly stuff in the tank but um I'm just gonna do it, and if he shows up, well, he'll just have to go get his then, because I'm putting my, I'm parking mine for the winter, because I, I I understand that he's got things to do, you know, he's probably still he still got his hay bales to pick up, he's still got a couple more fields to go yet. But the thing is, you know, I want to get my shit done too. So, meaning if I got to put my tractor to sleep for the winter, I'm gonna do it, regardless if he brings his or not. He'll just have to go back home and get his then, because. You know, I'm not going to burn diesel fuel and then that, that jelly shit, you know, to stop my fuel from gelling up. And then have to turn around and go buy another goddamn bottle of shit, you know. It's not, it's, it's not really expensive stuff. Like for this 100 gallon jug, it was like, I don't know, 15 bucks probably. So it's not super expensive, but it's the diesel fuel that's what would cost so much. It's really still not that expensive, but it's expensive, you know. 
So meaning I wouldn't be able to put any diesel fuel in it until payday, really, anyway. So meaning whatever in there now should just, should just stay in there. They burned quite a bit of it already, I, from, from what I can tell. From, from me driving it there, from them doing whatever the hell they had to do to it. You know, they had to let it run for like 20 minutes or whatever to break the, to break the new oils in and all that crap. I think they ran it more than 20 fucking minutes. You seriously can't burn that, that amount of fuel in 20 minutes, but what are you going to do? And then on the way home. You know, so it burned a little bit of diesel fuel, but I think they burned more than what they needed to, but whatever. So, I guess those kids went in. They really don't stay out that long, do they? They stayed out pretty long the last time, though. Well, so, I guess I'll give you guys a look at the new at the new tractor. Uh, you have to excuse any wind noise that there is, because there's going to be wind noise. Um... <sighs> And, uh, so yeah, this tractor's a little bit more power, it's got more power than what I'll ever need, but I got it because the price was right, and it was the closest one, closest one around. So, you guys guessed what the model was, or in the make, well, that's the model of her, she is a 1586 International Harvester. Um, she's got the big fat tires on her all the way around. Oh yeah, and it's also going to need a new step too. This one is this one's pretty smashed up. I think I'm going to get the uh, deluxe one or whatever. There's two different upgraded versions of this tractor step. So I just I cleaned all the glass. There's a bug inside. How the hell did you get inside there? Oh, there's so many damn gaps, I guess. But yeah, the, the step on this side's smashed, and and it's been welded too. Maybe you can see the welds done to it. My phone just... yeah, that's a freaking wind. But yeah, she got uh, uh, new oil. That's the day when they did it. She got a new block heater put in her, some new fuel lines uh, in the back there somewhere. So, she, the tractor really needs some work. It needs some new stickers. That's what I would like to replace on it is the, is the stickers. Repaint these. Re, yeah, repaint these. Get new decals. This needs to get replaced because this is cracked. That's This here was a $53 part. I want to swap out the lights with LEDs. I need new battery boxes. Can't find a I can't, I don't know where the fuck to order them from. I think I thought Steiner would have sold them, but they sell them for the older tractors. She's got the dual hubs. Um, needs a new radio antenna. Whatever the hell they did to that one, I don't know. That blinker's out, but it was working. But then until the tire blew out, it, once the tire blew out, blew out, it stopped working. So I think it's a loose bulb issue. Um, this is a new reflector. That one's still original because I can tell because this one's got less shine to it than this one. This work light's out. I believe this one's out. These things need to get replaced. These here because they're getting to have... They've lost their blackness to it. They got more like a camel color going on here now, which I guess is kind of neat, but... It needs to be replaced. I want to get a get a triangle put in here. It's missing the top link. So it needs a top link. I need the, the, the covers for this. It's got the 540 and 1000 PTO, which looks like they've been rusted to shit, but probably because I haven't used them yet. It needs a new uh, fill cap or whatever the hell they call this thing here. This is a 12 volt trailer light plug thingy. Well, that's corroded beyond use, so that would have to get replaced at some point, which I don't know if I'm going to because I don't need it. I can't tell if this is a Category 3 or a Category 2 hitch, but I think it's... It's got to be a Category 3, I think. Looks like it's been welded here at one time, but if I'm just going to run a snowblower on it, it ain't going to really hurt it. Um... They were able to salvage this tire. This is the side that blew out on me. This is the new rim they put in. 
apparently that's where they ordered it from. So, oh, I didn't didn't point this out either. The kids are still kind of coming out, but it's got two sets of wheel weights on each side. If you can see that, it's got two sets of weights. So it, you know, it it doesn't need the fucking calcium in the rims to make it heavy. I mean, for what I'm going to use it for, it should be heavy a fucking enough, you know. See, this step is uh, it's pretty good yet, but I won't be able to. I can't swap them around because it wouldn't work. So, so I'm going to have to order a new one. I think I might order that. Uh, oh, you can order them from K and M. Um. You can order them off the K&M there. They have the, uh, it's kind of like that, but they're a little bit more spaced apart. And then you can get a, even another one that's even further apart. And that one actually, uh, actually has, uh, you can order it with the handrails too or whatever. And this tractor's got the dual fuel tanks. One here on the back. That's a fuel tank. And there's another one under, under here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's down in there. So, frickin' wind. So, and, yeah, like I said, it needs new battery boxes. Well, the other one was a little bit worse, and this one's actually okay, but... See, the sticker's getting burned off from the exhaust, so it needs a new sticker. They changed... The fuel fillers, I believe these are the oil filters, and I think this is the antifreeze filter, which doesn't look like something's wet right here, but I, I think that's just, yeah, that's just water. There's just water standing there. This tractor has not never leaked antifreeze. They replaced the antifreeze in it too because they had to drop it because of the, uh, because of the uh, the glow plug, and they put on a new steering hose. The other one's still the original. Uh, there's another one on the other side, but it's not as bad. They put some bolt new bolts in the wheels because I was missing a couple on both sides actually. So, but yeah, um, she has. I need to get a front weight bracket as well. I don't have any weights for it. Uh, needs a new see it needs a new grill piece um, For this kind it's about 112 120 bucks 130 And then for the chrome one it's like 180 or something it's a little bit more expensive I need to get a screw in there And uh, here's the plug for the block heater And uh, these doors used to stick but I don't know what the guys did but they don't stick to me anymore uh, and it is missing the uh, the the things to stop the door from wanting to go open so freaking far. See now this is a kicker because I cannot get up here. This is a this is so much different from uh, even my friend's 1086 because he's got the same he's actually got the same uh, same steps as me. So wow, oh, cleaning the glass did kind of help. But yeah, it's got the digital tack, which kind of works. Uh, it's been working ever since they fixed it. Because nothing... The air doesn't work. Or the... the I don't know if the air works, but the blower don't work. Because the blower kind of ticks. My mirror keeps bending. I don't know what happens to my mirror all the freaking time. Um, yeah, so... Nice and warm in here, though. Don't know if the PTO works, but I'm I'm sure it does because it was hooked up to a brush hog when the last owners had it. So, but uh, here's the one, two, threes. This here shifts perfect. The main gears are a little bit sticky, but they work. I ain't gonna cry about it. TA seems to work. I think it works okay. Or per, it works pretty good actually. I don't try try not to use it because the more you use it, the more you're just gonna wear it out. So. Uh, they put in this gauge here. It's a temperature gauge because the, this gauge here quit working. And then they put an oil pressure one outside. And they said that 
I could I, I could route it to in here too if I wanted to. Which well, if I could just get the original one to work again, be all right. Throttle's a little bit stiff, but it's not too bad. I think I could loosen that if I decided to tear the damn dash apart. Um, the left brake does not work. That's the left brake. The right brake works pretty good, though. I don't even barely even have to touch that, and it just locks up instantly. Um, the headliner up here is shot. This is the only one that's shot. That's the headliner. Dome light works. Uh, wiper works. Uh, like I said, I don't know if the blower works, so I can't test the air or the heat because the blower don't work. Um, it's got triple remotes. I want the I want to take these out and put the longer ones in because these are shorties. On the 986 and the 1086, they both have the long ones, which I think you have to custom make them yourself. Um, Three-point hitch controls. Well, actually, right now my three-point seems to be settling a little bit because I haven't ran it in days. Um, they had a radio in here at one point because there's a bracket. I don't know if you can see the damn. I can't even see my lens. There's the mount, and then there's the clip. So I guess I could get a compact radio and stick it there and just put the antenna on the fender, which I kind of want it right here or something, but I don't know. But I mean, overall, I don't see much wrong with it. I mean, it seems to be a good and running solid tractor. There's one thing I would love you guys to do for me, and I know this is going to cost money. If you, I have the, the item number, the part number for this. Oh, yeah, and I added the spinner knob. I put this on a few days ago. Um, I want the tilt steering kit for this tractor. Now they don't make them anymore. You apparently have to find these at a salvage yard. Well, I was wondering if you guys know of any salvage yards, um, maybe even in your area, maybe talk to them and see if they can find a tilt steering kit for this. Um, I, I could probably look around at the ones that, you know, try to find a salvage yard around here, which I don't know if there is any. But, they don't, I have, like I said, I have the item number for this because it came in the book, but they don't sell them, they don't make them anymore. You have to find them at a salvage yard or just deal with it. Well, I would like to try to find one. Um, the rest of the interior, I think it's been replaced at one time because I don't see fuck all wrong with it. You see, ooh, the seat's got good suspension. You'll see, like, the back. This is all still, it was dirty, though, but, I mean, frick it. This is broken and wedged in there. I can't even get it out. I don't know what the string meant, so I don't know if that's a warning to don't open this window. I don't know. I've never opened it. I'm sure you could. Radio works. There's like a mouse chew to the chew through there. That's interesting. So, whew, the seat is something else. But yeah, this window opens. I've had it open. The thing's kind of bent, though. I don't know what's up with that. I can't latch that one or lock it because it puts so much pressure on the window. See, like this one here, it's... You can see that. I don't know if you can even see this damn camera. There. See how it's locked there? It's got a latch around it. Well, I can't do it to that one because it. Uh, I think it, I might end up breaking the window. So... But yeah, another thing that needs to get figured out is to get this left brake to work. I don't know what's up with that. So, but most of the lights seem to work. I think all, yeah, all the ones in the front work. It's just the one in the back there quit. So, um, yeah, really it all, all it needs for interiors. Just, ugh, come on camera. What happened to the auto freaking coloring shit? This needs to be replaced. It looks like the mice have been chewing through it. That's interesting. Maybe they don't even run this fucking thing in the winter time. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they don't even use it in the winter time. That's maybe why I had a bitching time starting it that one time. Because I don't like the winter. But, uh, yeah, it is a three speed. So it's a 1586. The 1486s are four speed. Under 1486 and under, they're all four speeds except the 15. They're uh, even the 1566. They're a four. They're a three speed. 
And I know that because my friend's got a 1566, so, and it's the same horsepower as this. But yeah, see, it needs that latch thingy to keep the wind from wanting to tear my, tear my door off. This door is really fucking tight, so I don't, I don't even try to open it. It's just too damn tight. It's missing the cigarette lighter thing, but no big deal. I haven't tried the horn yet. The ether, I don't know if it works or not, but it shows 8,900 hours. I don't know if the... I don't know if the tack's working right or not, but, so, but yeah, this seems to be working okay. It's not working the great, I don't think it's, wor it wasn't working that day, but it's working now, but, I don't know. I say if it keeps working, break it. Well, yeah, so, that's what I got. Nothing special, I mean, it's not brand new, that's not what I was going for, because I can't afford brand new. And the radio works too, by the way. Both speakers work. It's not going to come on because the key's not on, but the key's not even in it. I took the key out, so. But yeah, so yeah, if you guys can find me the tilt steering kit, I'll, maybe I'll put the part number below. And you guys can go hunting for one. Um, I know some people probably know where I live. Well, if you happen to know where I live and you can find a salvage yard for me, and they happen to have one in stock... Let me know. Maybe you guys can call them or see if you can get a price check out of it. So, but yeah, that's nothing special about her. Now to get down, it's going to be the freaking fun part. I will have to put you guys down, unfortunately, because this is a major freaking climb up. So, because this is a lot higher up than the uh, other tractor. So, it's definitely. They say not to climb down this way. They say to climb down backwards, but I don't know. I don't find it's much of a problem. So, but yeah, she's much higher up there. That's the one thing I don't like about it is that it's. That's the one thing I hate about this tractor is that it's too high up there, and well, that's because of the big beefy tires they put on it. So. I'm going to get the extension kit step. That would probably make it a little bit neater. Well, it'll look a little bit nicer for one thing. Oh, that wind. The wind's not cold, it's just so windy. But yeah, see, they, they mounted the... Uh, I think I showed this already. They mounted the oil pressure gauge out here. They really should have just put it inside the cab because fuck... You're never going to actually uh, look at it, you know, unless you're, unless it's just idling. But I think the belts look fine. But yeah, it, it's going to need some work, boys. It's going to need some work. But overall, it's a pretty solid tractor. I don't see much wrong with it. Like I said, don't the things that I pointed out is what's wrong with it. But that's still, you know. That's just minor shit, right, guys? You know, I mean, the interior shot, replace it. Needs a new antenna, replace it. Definitely going to need a better step, because they smashed that one to hell. You can even tell that they, they bent that, st that step back out. So I think at one time, they smashed it into the tire, and they might have actually blown that tire out, because I think that's a, that's a new tire right there. Or no, that's the, ori no, that's the original one, actually. Yeah, the other one's newer. The one that blew out on me that one day. That uh, wasn't the tire that blew out, it was the rim that let go, so. But, uh, yeah, it is a 1586 International Harvester. It is the top dog. You can't get him any bigger than this. Unless you upgrade to the next, like, the next model. But even then, there's still, uh, like, I think it's the 3288 or the 3286. I can't remember how this model number works. But they have almost the same cab design, but the cabs are red and the shifters and everything are actually on the other side. Whereas in this tractor, they're, they're just scattered all over. So if you were to get a... Th uh, a th I'm going to say, a, you know, like a 3000 series. Well, that's not what they're really called, but they're... It's newer than these. 
all their shifters and everything, the gear levers and everything would be on one side. They would be nothing on the other side. <clears throat> Which I actually was looking at maybe getting one of those instead, but they still want too damn much for them. I basically got this tractor, guys, for a steal. I mean, I ended up paying... Uh, I actually ended up paying almost nine grand for it, but they kind of made a mistake on their end too, and said eight thousand when they originally said eighty-five hundred. I talked them down to eighty-five hundred, and when I went there to look at it, he said eight thousand because they made a mistake, and I didn't really say anything, so I just kind of rolled with it. But all I can say is that in this tractor, you can definitely hear the turbo a lot more. It's not straight piped. I don't think it's straight piped. No, it's got a muffler. It's right here. It's got a big ding in it, though. Yeah. You guys probably didn't see that. I was busy looking from looking at, at it myself, but I mean, it, it needs it needs to go to a paint shop, and it, this panel needs to be taken off and, and repainted. Because see, this is where all the heat from the exhaust comes, right? So it's gonna bake the shit out of it. So, it needs to be, uh, that must be the original IH stickers from when they first, uh, first, because uh, International Harvester actually had their own dealer. Now it's just Case IH, because International is no longer out there, but International Harvester did have their very own dealership, I think right next with, well, Case IH I don't think was even out at the time, it was International. But International and Case H are basically the same because they still take the IH symbol. You know. So, if you need any parts now, you have to either try to find them online somewhere or you have to go to Case IH and try to find them. I don't know what they had here at one time either. I don't know what this bracket is. My uncle thinks maybe they had a fire hydrant or a fire hydrant, yeah. A fire extinguisher here at one time. It says something on there, but I can't read it because the sunlight hits it the wrong way. But yeah, I want to swap out all these lights here. Put LEDs in. This one's actually okay yet. This panel, but the other panel shot. It's broke. Uh, looks like it needs some new rubber foam pieces there. Which isn't too big of a deal, but... I think the alternator is fairly -ish, fairly -ish new. It's not, you know, new, but it's, I think, more up to date. I'm sure if they burned a few of these out over, over, the, over the years of owning this. So, and the rails seem fine. I don't, I don't see any cracks in them. I don't see any non factory like here's a factory weld because it's so smooth so I'm not seeing anything wrong with the frames so it does need to like here's missing a bolt while well, the bolt broke and there's a few on the other side that broke off too so I have to take it to someone and see if they can drill those bolts out and I can put new ones in but I mean, overall, it's a fairly straight tractor. I'm not noticing there's like a little ding up there, but I don't know how you would ding them. Unless a, you know, a branch probably could have hit it too or something. I don't know. But usually you see those pretty dinged up too. And it's, it's actually pretty good. It's nothing... I ain't, I ain't gonna worry about it. Screw that idea. Um, one thing that does... Uh, I'm not happy about. Okay, so before I got rudely interrupted um, I was going to show you what I also seen what was wrong here on the tractor but uh, yeah I went and looked at the uh, at the talk about that guy again with the work that fixed my tractor he uh, did give me a discount but it wasn't very much it was only like 128 bucks because if he wouldn't wouldn't have gave me the discount my bill would have been like twenty two almost twenty three hundred dollars. So <clears throat> they kinda gave me a discount. So 
Yeah, I guess you got a little bit of a discount, even though I think I should have gotten like 500 off because of their bullshit, but what are you going to do about it? Because I'm possibly, possibly going to need them in the future. So, whatever, they're paid off and done with. I sent them, uh, sent them a check, and then I sent them a money order too because I didn't have enough in the bank to uh, give them a full check. So I gave them like, I gave him a check and then a money order, made out a money order too, because I was short a little bit. I had the money in my wallet, but I didn't have it in the bank, so, so I gave him two checks basically. Pay them all off and be done with it. But uh, yeah, so they did give me a discount. Um, not sure on what though. They just gave me a discount, I guess, on everything. But yeah, the thing I was going to point out that's going to probably need some work before I got rudely interrupted was that that there's getting a hole in it. Um, the IH logo is even getting, it's starting to turn blue. So, I think the other side was about the same. But, you know, that's kind of common with these freaking cab corners. It's even there starting to rot out. These cab corners like to rot out really quick, so. Uh, this one's actually not too bad. That one's still pretty good yet, so. <clears throat> Yeah, really, I think all it would need is just that there would need to be replaced. And get that patch filled in. And uh, it's one thing I would like to look at here quick. I'll try to get you guys up there. Hopefully you guys don't commit suicide on the way down. It's easier to crawl on the Step up the wrong way, so we'll get it this way, I guess. Check my diesel field. I guess it didn't. I guess it's not as bad as I thought. I thought, honestly, it's down to about about here somewhere, I guess. So it's not. You can even replace. Cool. Alright. Yeah, so that cab corner there is starting to rot out. So, that's just kind of standard. There's tons of dirt or dirt underneath the fuel tank or on top of the fuel tank, which is, I guess, pretty common with these tractors. But, uh, uh, yeah, and I put you guys back on the charger for that last, I think I was gone for about half an hour. So, I put it back on the charger. But you can tell that some of these haven't been used. Like, this one, uh, this remote here hasn't been used because it's all grimy. This one's been used. This one's been used. And this one's kind of been used. Um. So... I think this one's actually broken. Yeah. So that's an interesting. That would have to get probably fixed. That sounds like my uncle's tractor. So yeah, these some of these haven't been used. So like this one sticks. That's got some play in it too. Do they all have play in it? Oh, they all do have play in it. Oh, well, they're not, they're not broken then. Okay. But yeah, they used to have caps on there, but the caps broke off. So I would have to get that replaced. And then, uh, try to find a top link for the tractor. Because another thing I would I want to do is uh it's not going to be anytime soon but maybe we'll hop back because this is this is going to be high well, hydraulic and cabs uh, involved and this is what the other the company is going to have to do because i'm not going to play with the hydraulic systems on this on these tractors first of all the steps got to go because the steps 
ridiculously hard on my knees. Is another thing I like to do. It's nice and warm in the cab though. Yeah, we're back inside the cab again. I want to put another set of triple remotes in. Um, because I'm going to want to put... Whenever I get a loader put on, I know that Westendorf, um, I've, been, I've been looking at their loaders, and they have a single single joystick, it's a four-way joystick for their loaders, um, which I guess would be okay as well, because I, what I want to be able to do is have a loader on, and then I would like to be able to put a three-point, um, you can see, well, a three-point hitch snowblower put on the back. Now that'll be later on in life. I'm going to have to, I guess, see what they offer for blowers. But I think this is a, apparently it's supposed to be a Category Three hitch. So I don't know, but it doesn't because in the, in the book it only says that certain tractors can have certain size hitches and doesn't really like. I couldn't find a book. You know, this tractor didn't come with a book, so it, it didn't say what the tractor was like, was equipped with, you know. It's just, books I have, are, it covers all makes and models of these tractors, so that's for part-wise, but. But there's one thing I really thought was interesting, I didn't know it was even an option. There's so many things you can do to these tractors, I mean, you can really, back in the 70s, you really could go all out on these tractors, which I'm surprised. You actually could get a rear windshield wiper. For these tractors and i honestly didn't think you could do that but you do have to get a different different glass though or you have to have someone drill holes in the glass or you have to get another glass or something sometimes it's got holes in it in, in it for the wiper system um which i've never seen any tractors with wipers on the back but hell i thought that'd be a very neat thing to have um and then the tilt steering thing would, is another really high tech thing to have um, my friend's 1086 has it you know that's why I like his tractor so much because it's got that that tilt steering and this tractor doesn't have it and then the 986 doesn't have it so which well for what he uses it for we don't he doesn't really need it I guess so but yeah so if you guys could find um, Maybe try to look and see if you guys can find a tilt steering kit for these tractors. Um, I'll give you the give you guys the part number for it, and then uh, I'll have to look around. Maybe you guys can even find one online or something. Maybe a new one or something. I don't know. I mean, no matter what, someone's going to have to install it, which I'll probably have to go back to them and they'll have to install it because I ain't going to tear this dash apart. Yeah, I think you'd actually have to get a whole different dash too because this is this is set up just for the fixed steering, not the tilted. So, but yeah, for the for the other set of remotes, it'd have to go here. This gauge actually might have to to get might have to get moved. I might have to put it up here or some, or mount it somewhere where it's not in the way, and put either another set of triple remotes. See those, you would have to go into the tractor's main hydraulic system and tee into that. On my friend's 1086. He has his plugged into the third remote. He says that's the cheap way of doing it. He says if you wanted it done professionally, he says you would just run your stuff right down into the hydraulic pump, the main pump, and then you know then you then you would actually have three remotes instead of. So he's listening to his music. That guy, I swear, he rides his bike about four times a day, boys. He's fucking old, dude. He's still giving her. But, see, things with the snowblower, you'd only need two remotes because um, one to turn the chute left and right and another one to uh, angle the deflector. And you'd still have a third one that you could you could actually literally hook that to a hydraulic uh, top link if you wanted the hydraulic top link. So you really could get these tractors all kind of, kind of decked out a little bit, you know. Which I don't know if I'd get a hydraulic top link. I don't think I'd need one, but... But yeah, so he would have to somehow mount the the thingy here. You know, there's a 
bolt right here already, so you could probably just drive that out. You could probably just bolt it into this, you know, a couple bolts, and then that would probably hold the the, the remotes. And then you would, I guess, you would drill a hole in the floor, and then run it down, run all the piping or whatever to the thing. But that would take. Well, to them it probably take a few days, but it's not going to happen this year. I think I'm just going to buy bits and pieces of it to get this tractor um, fixed up. Like, I'm going to replace that that light thing down there because it's cracked. Um, and then I'm going to get a new grill for it. Get You know, get some odds and ends for it. I would like to get these extended out. They're up higher. These are just way too freaking low for, you know... I mean, if you're sitting here running a baler, I think that'd be a little bit uncomfortable, but... These are, this is how they come from the factory, so... If you want the extensions, you would have to, uh... Yeah, you would just have to, uh... I, I, I guess you'd have to make your own levers and get them longer up there. But... But yeah, so that's what I got. Um, and then... I think over the over the winter months, uh, which while well, hell could probably take a couple of months really, um, I'm going to buy a CB radio for the tractor. Um, there's if you guys remember the Cobra 29 that I bought for the house. Okay, well they make a Cobra 25. It's the same thing as a 29. It's just that it's a it's a compact version. That's what I'm thinking I may get. It's a little, little bit more expensive. Why it is, I don't fucking know, but it's a little bit more expensive. Only about like 10, 15 bucks, so I ain't going to cry about it, but a little bit more expensive. And I was going to mount it up there because they already have the mount here for it, but it's kind of loose. So probably if I tighten those screws, it probably would fix it. But I think I kind of want it down in here somewhere. You know, if you can see that okay. Somewhere down in here. Um, just because that's where I would like it to be. But, yeah, and then... This tractor's going to still need some work. Because... There's no way in hell... I'm running this thing in the summertime. And... I don't have air. I'm not going to be using it in the winter time, so it doesn't matter if I have heat. But once I do get it running, they have to fix it. I think the main thing is just that the blower is not working. I don't know how the air is, like, um, like if it's cold or if it's hot. Right now, it looks like they have it set for the heater. It looks like the air, the cooling air fan is off. Um, well, no, they got both off. So, there must be something wrong. I know that here you can shut off certain controls. And I know down by the side of the engine you can shut it off there too. You can actually turn off just the heater. So then in the summertime you just get air. Cold air. You don't get the hot air. You don't get a mix or anything like that. So here comes that old timer again. Doesn't even realize that I'm standing in my tractor. Or sitting in my tractor. But he kind of he minds his business. He don't really give a shit too much. But yeah, and then the tractor's going to need... I think maybe a new seat, but I think I could get this seat to work. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it just doesn't have the, uh, where your ass sits. You don't have the the cover. You just have the foam now. So, because actually it's right here. It, it, it fell off. So, but it was the same way on, I think on the 986 too. It was missing its cover. But on the 986, it was actually missing the backrest too. I don't know why the hell he took it off, but he did. I suppose it was broken, but hell, leave it. So, I don't know. Something about this tractor just seems a little bit different. Well, besides height-wise, that's not a bitch at all. Freaking the 986 and the 1086 were so much lower of the ground, but, you know, they have the smaller setup. They have smaller tires on it. This isn't going to affect this thing much, but... <clears throat> it, it seems like I, there's more room here. Yes, the, the rag and these gloves came with the tractor. 
Well, the rags came with the tractor. I don't know where the damn rag come from, but... I mean, there just seems to be, like, plenty of room here to really do stuff. So, basically, and then my on the 1086, um, I'll flip you guys around. I can see better this way. He's got his baler monitor mounted here, so I don't know if he took this off or what. So I'm just going to mount mine probably higher up, so that way I can still crank the window open. I think... Yeah, because most of the time I'm probably just going to be running an auto baler anyway, an auto tire. So, there's nothing here, but, yeah, I'm just going to get the CB, um, the Cobra 25, and then I'll get a magnet mount antenna, and I'll just mount it to the fender. I'm not going to, I'm not going to get a, a permanent mount antenna, because I just don't think it's necessary. So, I was going to put it up on the roof, but... With this tractor being so much taller than it is, I ain't, I don't really want it to climb that high up there. And plus, um, if you guys know, if you guys seen that video, you guys seen that video on the guy that was, the, that John Deere that was loading those bales um, last Saturday. He finally put a radio in that tractor. Well, he's got the antenna on, on, on the fender. But I think he's got his, his mounted. You know, it's like it's actually just like permanent. It's not a magnet. So I'm just going to get a magnet mount. And I think I'll probably end up going with the six, uh, maybe the 62 inch whip. It might be a little bit too big though, but range is, will be, should be more than good enough. Uh, I was looking at a baler. I wanted to get a, a net wrap. But from what the young guy says, he says that he's had, he's talked to a few farmers around here that have had those balers. And apparently the, the netting is, is just no good around here. You're just better off, I guess, sticking with twine. So, but you can still buy a net baler. And you can just use it to run twine. You can, like John Deere in New Holland, I think John, well, I know of John Deere. John Deere's balers have an option of twine or net. You can choose between them. And you could even get both as an option. So if you wanted to, you know, say, use twine on hay, you could. And if you wanted to bale corn stalks or something like that, you could use net. You could just push a button on the dash or on the 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 controller and it, and it would switch. So. But yeah, so. But since he says that a net baler isn't really all that good, I'm guessing it's just a netting. It's not the baler itself. The baler's quite fine, but... Since he thinks about it, I may just end up sticking with the New Holland. Um, well, the baler that the young guy is using is an 855 New Holland. That might just be something I might end up getting because, well, I want to get one of them too because they're they're cheaper. And you can find them pretty good, you know. They're not tore up. A lot of them are not tore up. A lot of people keep them in good shape or they even rebuild them and they're good. So it's a possibility it might end up getting me one of those. I don't know if you guys can see me all that great, but I may just end up getting one of those balers. Um, you know. So. But yeah, these 1586s are only meant to have a a 1000 PTO on it, and this one's got both. This has got the 540 and the 1000. So I don't know what I'd be running at for 540 use. So my friend says, I, if, if I was to run something 540, he says that just run the, the, the 1000 at, like on the meter, he says run that at 1010. So that would give you your 540, I guess, on the, PT, on the 540 PTO. Which I'm probably just going to do it from sound. I'm used to how the 1086 and the 986 do it. So I think I can basically run it without any trouble. I guess if you break something, then you know you're speeding it. I mean, you'll be able to tell if you're over speeding them because they'll just sound weird. So. But overall, guys, the tractor is in decent shape. I'm not, I mean, besides that rim. If that rim never would have let go, I, this thing would have had a loader on it, you know. I would have, that's what I wanted to use it for this year, this winter, was to remove snow because, and to move some bales, because I was going to get a, a bucket mounted bale spear that I could just mount on the bucket for now. I figured it's a cheaper route to go for right now. 
but no, nope, can't get a loader for it. I won't be able to get a loader now for a couple of years. So the guy that, that did the work to the tractor, he said that he can get new loaders and used ones. And then the guy where I get my gas from, he says that he can get loaders from Canada. He can get some used ones up in Canada. So I may try to, I may look into that later on. So, but you know, there's one more thing I would like to have too. And I'm not even sure if they're in good shape anymore or if we can even find them. There's an IH, IH quick hitch. Yes, IH did make their own three-point hitch quick hitches. Just like what John Deere and Frontier and Land Pride and the Nortrack, they all make their quick hitches, you know, for the three-point. I would like to find an, like an like a original IH, but it's got to be in working order because I want to be able to hook a blower to it or something. And then the old time, or not the old time, but the young guy says that if I wanted to use this thing for snow removal, he says the thing I could do is just go buy, go to the scrap yard, um, or see if someone's selling selling a junked blower, a three point hitch mounted blower. It's got to be like a category three, I guess. He says just buy a junked one. And then he says, hook it onto the back of the tractor and just use it and use it to push snow. He says it doesn't have to be running off the PTO. You don't have to, you know, power it. He says just use it as a, as like a pusher. Which, well, it would help, but I don't have money for I use the blower and how the fuck would you get it home? Unless they'd be willing to, you know, deliver it, but I know they're not going to. So and then even if they did deliver, how the hell would we get it off? Well, we got the 400, but the 400 running like crap too, so. So, every tractor needs a little bit of work, but at least this one's in running order. You know, I mean, the engine sounds tight and everything in it, so... Shouldn't, shouldn't have too much of a problem with it, but... She's just a little bit taller than I thought I would have wanted it. You know, I would have liked to lower it to the ground, but... But I think it, it'll be fine. I ain't gonna worry about it too much. The one thing I would like to do is maybe move these back tires out a little bit. Um... Just to give them a little bit more, you know, give give it some more, make it more stable. It just, I mean, it probably wouldn't tip over anyway, but it'd make it a little bit more stable for me. So, uh, and then the other thing I'm going to do with these tractors is you can get lights put on the back of the fenders. Um, like, uh, what was the word they call them? Forget the word now, but. Um, if you, I don't know, you guys probably didn't see them, but in the fenders, they have like a little plug cap in them. I guess you can pound the cap out, and then you can mount your, your work lights, your extra work lights to that. So, that's another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to buy some LED work lights uh, and mount them on the fender. Um, I would like to swap these back ones out for LEDs as well, but I think I heard they don't make them for that. They only make them for the front. Which is stupid because the front lights are... The rear lights are the same as the front. So I don't know what the hell the difference is. Unless this, it's just the plugs that are different. But I didn't know that IH like to change shit up all the time. But I know for the front you can buy them. Because I know there's a YouTuber on, well, on YouTube. He's got a 1586 as well. And he put LED lights on his. But I think on the back they were still, still originals. So if you really had to, you probably could just disconnect those lights and then just put another set of LEDs on the back, you know, and then just run LEDs all the way around without really removing any extra lighting. But running that wiring is going to be a real freaking challenge. Even though I see how they ran this one, I think for this dash or something, or for this gauge, um, they just kind of ran it. See that white wire right there? They ran that. There's a hole in the thing there. And then they just ran it up inside the dash. And if you look inside where the throttle... Maybe you can't see it. Well, it's down in there where the throttle is. There, you can see another... Uh, I think you can see another white cable. I suppose if it looked good enough. I've never really looked good enough in there to see what it looked like. But... Um, yeah. So... But yeah, I'll probably have to move that gauge, though. It might have to get moved over. Um, 
so I can put a set of remotes there. Um, and then, I mean, if you go with a, with a Western Dorp loader, um, they would you can order a a, a remote. It's a four-way joystick, which I they're okay. I, I mean, I don't mind them. Just, it's not what I like, but they'll work. So that's probably always an option too. At least, you know. I think that's actually a liquid over hydraulic, so I'm not sure. I don't. I think then there for that, for those loaders, those have to I think actually get plugged into the tractor's pump. So meaning I think you would still have those remotes down there available. So of course you could, you could always tee into one of them too, because I know that third one I'm probably never going to use. Um. So, but yeah, so that's, well, yeah, there you guys go. Um, it's an IH-1586 with 8,900 hours on her. Looks like a hit. It's got 89.15, whatever the hell it is for hours. So... But yeah, the tractor is going to need some work. It does need some things, which will be, you know, a later deal. I'm not going to worry about her today. So over the winter months, I'll probably buy bits and pieces of it for the tractor, and I'll put them away for spring. And then I guess when spring hits, we'll try to put them on. But uh, what are you going to do? So... But she really is. A, it's it's it seems to be like a pretty good solid tractor. I mean, it's it was leaking fuel there. The fuel line was bad, or the, I think it was the return line. And then they said about oh, the injectors. I think something number three and number five are bad on the motor. I thought it was the injector lines or something. I don't know. Something there was leaking, but they, it had a number on it. So there was number three and number five that were bad. So they replaced them. That's, well, obviously they noticed it because they had to take the hood off. So, but it it does seem to run like you know like like it's never it's not tore up. It's not a, it hasn't been abused. That's for. From what I can tell, it hasn't really been abused. I don't even think the drawbar showed much for wear on it. But I mean, if they all want to use it for mowing, fuck, you ain't going to do much to that drawbar. This tractor is actually overkill for mowing. I mean, they only had a bat wing mower hooked to it, and hell. I mean, I suppose it probably took all this power to run it, but hell. That's not really giving it a challenge, you know? Not like. Well, fuck, even what I'm going to use it for, it ain't going to give it a challenge. So. But I haven't tested the three-point hitch yet, or I haven't even tested the PTO, but I'm sh I'm pretty sure all that worked. So, but I would start it up for you guys, but uh, I haven't ran it in days. It's been home for days now, but I just haven't ran it. Um, maybe I'll, one of these days, because I know pretty soon here I'm going to have to take this thing to the farm and park it. So, because it ain't staying here, it's not going to stay here all winter. I can't have it here, so. I gotta be able to plow snow here. So we will do a cold start on her one of these days. Um, it'll probably be in the next couple of days, probably, because it's getting to be about that time. They even changed the snow warnings now. It's not even gonna be supposed to be coming our way. So it's supposed to be going uh, more south. So. But one thing for sure is I'm definitely going to replace this step because this step is about, about history. Oh, she is such a tall little son of a bitch. It's a good tractor. Yeah, see this battery box here is shot. So I got to figure where the fuck you can get them from. I thought Steiner would have had them, but they don't. They have them for the smaller tractors, but not for this big monster. I still hear the 400. 
So, but yeah, so she's going to need some love, but nothing major. Look at the drop bar. I mean, there's hardly any. There's somewhere on there, but I've seen them to where they're almost down to here, you know. So, what's dripping here? How about this water? This tractor likes to collect a lot of water for some reason. But yeah, so I want to swap these things out, get some new ones. I think this light worked, and that one was out, but I think I would like to replace them with LEDs, but I don't think they make them. So my game plan was just to mount another set. I should be able to get up there. I mount a set right above it, and then here on the sides, you can't see them, but I don't know if I do this, you probably could. Yeah, see that plug right there? That plug is where you can put an extra set of work lights in. So that's what I'll do with my big, I'll order some big LED lights. Um, and then put them on. And it looks like it also needs a new uh, IH sticker up on the top. That looks like it peeled off. That blinker quit working like I said, so that needs to get fixed. The antenna needs to be replaced. It still works, it just needs to be replaced. But, overall guys, she's a pretty damn good solid tractor. I ain't seeing much wrong with her. I mean, she had some, mostly had, she mostly had some engine problems and then the rim was shot. This is a brand new rim now, like I said, so she's a pretty fucking solid tractor now. And this, this tire, like I said, is still original. Um, I don't remember, was this, was this the new one they bought? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's newer. Well, clearly, you know, because of the fucking room they had on, if I kept blowing them out all the time because they're too, too damn stingy to replace them. But this tire's got some uh, wear on it, but it's still decent yet. I ain't gonna worry about that for quite a. F I mean, it's got some cracks in it, but you're not supposed to worry about those cracks. It's mostly the sidewall that you want to worry about. Sidewall right here. And since this is actually an older tire, and I'm not really, I'm not seeing anything for, I'm not seeing anything for sidewall cracks. Honestly, whatever the fuck they were doing to these tires, they were making them last. So, and then this, ooh, it looks like the tire's been rubbing on something. Ooh, that's not good. I don't like that too damn much. Looks like it's been rubbing here. Hmm. Yeah. Looks like it's had a weld job done in there, I bet. <laughs> I don't know. I would like to have these tires moved out just a hair bit. I mean, surprisingly, though, huh? I noticed that this one's this thing spread it out further than the other one. So the thing I think we could do is we could slide this over to maybe even just here. And then you could move this tire out. I mean, even just a few inches it would be better and it would be more stable. So... Well, I guess my camera decided to die. But yeah, I got some tire rubbish going on over there. I'll have to fix that, but yeah, so anyways guys, I'm going to take off, so I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, take her easy.